And this is Vision 54 Swing From Home. And I'm Pia Nilsson. And I'm Lynn Marriott. And you know, during these challenging times, we're sharing a lot with our clients remotely. And it's around the theme that we call healthier, happier, and better. And that's what we want to do is be able to come through the, all of this healthier and happier and better at the end. Yeah. Both in our lives and our golf games. Yeah, exactly. And of course, you can find more on the golfpass.com website or the app. But we want to show you things, and if you can be outside in the backyard and swing a club, that's fine. Or maybe you have a shorter club. And even if you don't, you can find any kitchen utensils, and that works too. Because we want to show you the exercise you can do, so once you get on the golf course, you're going to be better equipped, no matter what your swing theory is. Yeah, so one of the things that we find for you know, all golfers that we, we coach, that whether it be a tour player to what we call the real golfers, like everybody out there playing that isn't a tour player, <laughs> and is that learning how to train to be present. So important. Yeah. And all the way to the finish. Yeah, and to really learn deeply how to pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, and this couldn't be a better time to train that while we're all at home. Yeah, absolutely. So the first one we want to do with you is actually in your body. And it's, can you make a golf swing, a full golf swing, and feel something in your lower body? Okay. So, Let's it could it. be that I feel my feet on the ground and I feel all my toes or feel the balls of my feet, or I could feel my glutes, or excuse me, my quads or my glutes. Yeah. You choose. But now I'm going to choose my feet. And I'm going to make a golf swing and just feel my feet for the whole swing. Did you keep it to the finish? Actually, Pia, I didn't. You did it. Where did you lose it? <laughs> I, I lost it up here. Yeah, and actually yeah. something we find, so many swinging, they lose their, their focus, they're not paying attention, they lose it often right at the takeaway, at the transition, or often to at impact. So you want to learn to make sure you stay present to pay attention to the finish. Well, and it's kind of amazing. The golf swing only takes like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> one, one thousand, two, one thousand. It's all. Yeah. And we've got to learn to be able to pay attention for the whole thing. I know. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Okay. How was that? Well, that was a lot better, actually. Oh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't skip through it up here. Okay. I didn't lose awareness. Okay. What yeah. is another one? Well, let's have you try one. Yeah. Where you're gonna swing. Yeah. And keep a visual image in your mind. Yeah. And let it have be a flag. Ooh, I like <laughs> that Swedish flag. I bet you do. If you sometimes swing, we play. You want to have this image of a shot or a target on mind's eye. So that would mean I have that image now, that Swedish flag, and I have it inside of me. So I'm making this swing. It's eyes open, and the goal is if I can keep that image in my head the whole time. Did I did. Do? I did. Yeah. And it made it easier for me that it was colorful, actually. Oh, that's great. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because, again, that's an internal image in your mind's eye. And we all know visualization is very important to playing great golf, but you've got to be able to maintain it. Yeah. yeah and right. not skip around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what could be the third one? The well, third one, and we see this with a lot of golfers who come to Vision 54, and that is they come in with a lot of tension in the upper body. So I'm going to make a swing and keep my shoulders very relaxed and my mouth open. Ah. Right? Yeah. And I'm going to give you a potato chip. It kind of broke in my pocket, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. If you have a potato chip and you put it between your front <laughs> teeth, it's guaranteed if you tighten your jaw, it's going to go to even smaller pieces. All right. How did you stay with the relaxed shoulders, oily shoulders and mouth? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I, I obviously, I kept my mouth relaxed, but I lost it again a little bit in my shoulders. I had two things I was supposed to pay attention to yeah. there, and I didn't do such a good job with my shoulders, so okay. I could get better at that. So see, these are very simple things, but we promise you, if you learn to pay attention and you're present through your swing motion and also your putting stroke, it's going to be so much easier to perform on the golf course once we get out there and many of you want to play in competitions. Yeah, I mean, this ability, as Pia said, to pay attention, to be fully present, we need it in every shot we get. I know, and yeah. actually set a goal right now, can you get to 10 focuses, 10 swings in a row with where you're actually paying attention? 
you know, on the golf course, you need a lot more than that, but that's a good starting point. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And again, we want you to be healthier, happier, and better. Yeah, and actually, too, if you want more on the, the Golf Pass app or the golfpass.com, we have a, a series there, too. Yeah, it's in the Coach's Playbook, and it's called Be a Player. Yes. So please come see us on Golf Pass.